I'm Anil Kumar and here is an excellent thinking question for your test on rational functions. Well, some of my students are also having midterm and they need to go through this question carefully since it involves absolute functions and both rational functions and inequalities. Question here is, solve absolute value of x over x minus 4 greater than or equal to 1. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Well, let's first analyze this function graphically and then we'll provide you with algebraic solution. So let us say that is the coordinate plane and we'll consider first the function x over x minus 4. Now to sketch this function, vertical asymptote is at x equals to 4. So I can draw a vertical asymptote like this which will be at x equals to 4 and the horizontal asymptote is going to be at 1 right x over x which will be at 1 so let's say this is the horizontal asymptote at 1 and what is the x y intercept when x is equal to 0 then we get 0 that means y intercept is at 0 now that helps us to sketch the graph so I'll quickly sketch the graph from these points we know horizontal asymptote asymptote going through the intercept so it is symmetric about this point so it has to be like this so we have y equals to 1 so this value is 1 for us and this value is 4 for us here we have a 0 now what is absolute value of this function so this rational function if I say absolute value then the negative part becomes positive. So this portion which is negative gets reflected. Correct? It's kind of like this. Now we have to solve the inequality greater than or equal to 1. So the solution is very clear before us. Correct? The solution of course one part is whenever it is greater than 4 the absolute value will be positive but also when this point is that okay that is when the function is minus 1 afterwards between minus this x value whenever it is minus 1 will also lead to the solution right so we need to find the x value when the function is minus 1 to get to this part of the solution right that is one way of looking into it so you can definitely solve this inequality uh, as such and that is a good approach to see so let me do a shortcut method that is we will solve for this function which is x over x minus 4 equals to minus 1 so if you solve we get x equals to will cross multiply which will say minus 1 times x minus 4 so we get x equals to minus x plus 4 so we'll bring it here so we get 2x equals to 4 or x is equals to 4 divided by 2 which is 2 so this point is 2 since this point is 2 we have our solution and our solution is from 2 to 4 correct greater than equal to you could include 2 because it is equal to right so we'll include 2 correct from 2 but 4 is not in the domain so 2 to 4 not included union 4 is not included since it is a vertical lesson to, to infinity do you see that so that becomes our solution correct so that's a fast way of doing and understanding this question the alternate way to do this is whenever we are working on absolute function you have to do it in two domains one when the function is positive the other when the function is negative right since this value of absolute function x over x minus 4 absolute value can be defined as x over x minus 4 if x is less than 0 right if less than you can say less than equal to 0 or if x is greater than 4 is it okay but it is negative of this value when x is greater than 0 but less than 4 correct since absolute value will reverse so that is how the function is so we need to solve this within these two groups correct so let's solve 
for x between 0 and 4 and for x when it, x is less than 4 or I mean x less than 0 or x is greater than 4. Correct? In this case your inequality will be minus x over x minus 4 greater than or equal to 1 and here the inequality will be x over x minus 4 greater than or equal to 1. Do you get the point? Since absolute value is defined like this. So within this interval it is positive and in this interval it is negative of that value. Correct? So now, now you can bring 1 to the left side. So we have minus x over x minus 4 minus 1 greater than or equal to 0. Take common denominator which is x minus 4 minus x. When you multiply you get minus x plus 4 greater than or equal to 0. And when you solve this and similarly this side also same thing you'll do x over x minus 4 minus 1 greater than or equal to 0 x minus x minus 4 when multiplied becomes plus 4 and here you get x minus 4 greater than equal to 0 correct now which is which is this becomes 0 so we are running out of space so let me just just divide it and move it further so it becomes 4 over x minus 4 is greater than or equal to 0 correct now if x is greater than 4 then 4 over x minus 4 will be positive so it is always true so if if x is greater than 4 it is always true is it okay so we get this part of our solution but if x is less than 4 I mean less than 0 this is 0 for us less than 0 that means it is negative then this value will be negative it is never true so the solution from here we get is when x is greater than 4 it's that part of the solution now we can solve this one which gives us okay let me also break this so we get uh, so this is minus x sorry so when you multiply minus x plus 4 so you get minus 2x plus 4 over x minus 4 is greater than or equal to 0 we can take 2 common let's take minus 2 common x minus 2 over x minus 4 greater than or equal to 0 so that gives us two zeros right let's analyze this portion the two zeros are at x equals to 2 and x equals to 4 x equals to 2 and x equals to 4 right and if you have test points let us take a test point on the left side it could be between 0 and 4 only right so we can take 1 and 3 here correct so if I take a test point 1 for example then my equation will be 1 minus 4 is negative and here 1 minus 2 is minus 1 times minus 2 is positive so we get negative so this value is negative if I substitute 3 here then what do I get I get 3 minus 2 is 1 1 times minus 2 is minus and this is minus 1 so we get plus answer here so we get that as positive therefore this interval is a solution correct so we get our solution as let me push the page so from here we get the solution as x is between 2 because it is equality and equal to right so it is x is greater than equal to 2 but less than 4 that's one part and from here we get x greater than 4 as our solution you see same as what we got graphically so the idea here is to explain you how you can visualize and answer your thinking problems in this way or you can actually do all the needful since I am always running out with I have to give solution in half the page so I hope you understand and appreciate how we did it so that's that's the alternate algebraic way of doing it correct I hope it helps you to understand the concept thank you and all the best